My name is Kain Sandegenius and today I'm going to teach you how to perform linear regression in Python using JupyterNotebook. Linear regression is a very important topic in machine learning and data science and this is something you need to know if you are interested in going further in any of this. If you want nuggets like this, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below this video and also you can join my machine learning 101 class that just started last week that is meant for beginners to expert level. So what is linear regression? Linear regression is a way to try to predict or to find the relationship between two variable uh, data sets. We have X and the Y data, and we have one of them is dependent variable and one of them is independent. So we have just this data set. You are suspecting that there is some relationship between them. Maybe one is increasing as the other is increasing, but we don't know. We simply want to find a function that relates the two. Linear regression is what can help you do it. So let's do this in Python using Jupyter Notebook. And hopefully in five to 10 minutes, we are going to complete. So let's get to the screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is to open Jup uh, Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook comes with Anaconda. And Anaconda is a distribution of Python that you can download and install for free. I've opened Jupyter Notebook and I'm going to go to new and choose Python 3. And I'm going to click on rename and I'm going to name it L, uh, linear regression. Sorry, my tablet open as well. All right, so you can choose any name you like. It is okay, any any name. So the first thing we want to do is to import the models we need to to use for solving linear regression. So import numpy and uh, numpy as np. Numpy is a module that helps you manage numerical calculations. Imports uh, import maths plot like the pie plots as PLT matplotlab matplotlib helps you do plotting of graphs uh, and charts in Python and from sklane dot linear sklane dot linear models linear model imports linear regression i hope i got this linear model or linear models i can't remember so yeah this is it so these are the three things you need to import for you to do linear regression in python so the next thing i want to do is to kind of transfer this data from excel to python there are two ways we can do it we can actually write it out uh here or we can actually import this data as a cell sheet and then convert this data into some kind of array but I'm going to teach you a little trick on how to move data from Excel to Python. So, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to just move this a bit away to this side. So let's say x is equal to mp.array. So let me keep my tablet open so that it doesn't sleep. Okay, so we have np.array and y is equal to mp.array all right so we have we need to put this data site right inside so what we are going to do is just copy everything from here and just go to copy and then go to another cell and just go to paste drop down paste and choose transpose you can see pop up is transpose here so what i'm going to do is just copy these eight values copy them and then paste them right inside here and then I'm going to replace all of this with a comma because I don't know really what the symbols there that has been added. Let, let me enlarge this a little. Perfect. All right, so let's paste this, replace this, replace this, replace this, replace this, replace and replace. Again, we do the same thing for the Y data. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it right here. And again, I'm going to use comma to replace whatever has been added there. I don't know what it is at all. So after you complete replacing this, we have everything set up. So replace, 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 and replace. Let's verify. We have how many how many uh, values? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fine. So I'm going to run it. So we've created 
the, the data in, in Jupyter Notebook, we've transferred this data from Excel to Jupyter Notebook. The next thing we want to do is to say, uh, we, have, we have to create a linear regression object. So let's call it linRay is equal to linear regression. All right, so I'm going to run each one. I have, I have to run it, and I'm going to now say linreg dot feeds. Uh, linreg dot feeds. Uh, before I do that, I like to kind of do a pre do some pre-processing on this data. So I'm going to say x is equal to. If you don't know what pre-processing is, uh, look at the description box. You see a link to the, the uh, to the machine learning one hundred one topic that discusses this. So you need to process your data. X dot reshape. So pre-processing in this way helps to reduce the variability um, between the, the the values of uh, the data. So so minus one, two, plus one. I'm going to run fine, and I'm going to now say linreg dot feet. So at this point, I'm actually doing the linear regression feet x and y. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to run perfect. So the next thing now is to do a prediction. So y is equal to y. So new new values of y can be predicted now at this point. So if, let's say I have a value of x to be, let's say, 500 values of y can be predicted. So to do that, I create a variable called y pred. More like predicted values of y is equal to linreg.predict. For every given value of y, create a data set for predicted values of x. So I'm going to run this. Fine. So the next thing I want to do now is to, is to plot this in a scatter plot and fit a, a, a regression line through these data points. So what I'm going to do, create a scatter plot of existing data and fit a linear regression line across. So I have simply say plt.scatter. So PLP just scatter takes S and Y. So in this case, we are doing a scatter plot, and the next line I'm going to fit a linear regression line uh, uh, through the scatter plot I've created. PLP dot plot, and now I'm going to take X and Y, right? And I'll have to say color is right. I want the color of the line to be right. Fine, and then I'm going to show the plot. PLT will show. Alright. Uh, hopefully, if we are fortunate, everything is going to be fine. Perfect. So you can see we have a linear regression line fitting through this data set. So it's fairly good. It doesn't touch every data set, but that is how linear regression works. It makes prediction and tries to fit a linear regression line through. The next thing we want to do is we want to find the equation of this line. So basically, at this point, I'm going to take my notepad and I'm going to write something out on the screen so that the equation of a line is given by... So at this point, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to take a pen and I'm going to say uh, y is equal to mx plus c. So at this point, mm is the coefficient of x and c is the intercept. So if we know m and c, we can actually write this equation. So let me put this away and then let's go here and then say find the coefficients. So we have linreg dots, uh, let's just say print, linreg dot coef. So here we have coefficient is 2.0. Okay, let's call it 2 and let's see what the intercept is. is. Linreg dot intercept. The intercept is 18.7. So it means that the equation is going to be something like this. So at this point, I'm going to take my writing part and I'm going to write the equation for you to see. So the equation is going to be something like this. Uh, y is equal to the coefficient is what the coefficient we have two two x 
plus 18. Y is equal to 2x plus 18. So using Python and using linear regression model in Python, we've done linear regression and we found the equation of this uh, of this data set we have, the equation of y is equal to 2x plus 18.7. Okay, uh, let's make it exactly correct. 2x plus 18.7, yeah. So I'm going to stop here. Remember, subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. Share this among your friends so that we can have a, a good community of people learning Python and Jupyter Notebook, machine learning and data science. If you want to go for that, join my machine learning 101 class that just started. You can see the link to the class below so you can easily learn everything you want to learn. And also, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. And finally, if there's something you want me to do, some improvement you want, recommendation you want to give me, also leave a comment for me to let me know. Thank you very much.